What's up vapors? Thanks for checking out Spin Fuels Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick and today we're going to be taking a look at Moon Mountain E-Liquid. So before I get started with this review, I did want to give a huge shout out to Moon Mountain. All the guys over there are awesome and I just wanted to thank them for giving me this stuff for the purpose of review. They initially gave me some liquid back in uh, VCC Tampa uh, earlier this year. Uh, but unfortunately, I hit them up on the last day of the convention, and they didn't have a lot left in 3 milligrams, so I wasn't able to try a whole lot of flavors, but they did give me a few flavors that I did enjoy, but I have yet to make a video on them. I ended up going to VCC Pittsburgh, and that's where I picked up these five flavors that I'm going to try for you t today. So, like I said, I've got five, five flavors for you. Uh, first one is going to be Electron. Uh, this is actually one of their seasonal flavors. They have a few different flavors that are... They only come out a few times a year, and um, this one in particular is a Max VG, uh, obviously 3 milligram. And I love the fact that they print the flavor descriptions right on the bottles. As a vape shop employee, I can tell you uh, that makes my life a hell of a lot easier rather than just going by the complicated names that all these e-liquid companies are coming up with nowadays. So having the flavor description right on the bottle really helps me out, and it helps me do this review because I don't have to look on their website or anything like that. Uh, so let's get started. First up we have uh, Electron, which is crisp lemonade romanced with ripened blueberries. Now I've got it loaded up in the Ego One with the Kanger Subtank Nano on top and we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and have our first vape. So I've really been digging all these lemonade flavors that have come out lately. Um, I really do love the, the combination of fruit and lemonade. I mean I've tried so many of them now I can't even tell you how many. Uh, but this one stands out a little bit because you definitely get that nice tart blueberry flavor and it's on the inhale. I kind of expected it more on the exhale than anything, but I do get a nice tart blueberry right on the inhale as well as a little bit of that lemonade. Really the thing that rounds out this uh, flavor is the lemonade itself. You kind of get that, you know, extra tart sour on the, the end of the vape, right towards the end of your, you know, your drag. Uh, but the inhale on this one is really sweet and a little bit tart, and the exhale is sweet and a little bit sour. So overall, it makes for a really nice combination, a really satisfying, definitely an all-day vape on, on uh, as far as I am concerned, and it could be an all-day vape for me. Uh, this one is really refreshing. I can see myself vaping this stuff in the summer, uh, but, you know, it's getting cold in New England, and I'm definitely looking forward to summer when it rolls around again. So this is going to remind me a little bit of the warmer months uh, in the middle of winter. So let's go ahead and we'll have a second vape here and we'll get to my ratings. Okay, so out of all the blueberry or lemonade or any combination of fruity lemonades that I've tried recently, this is almost at the top of the list for me personally. I'm really digging this one. The lemonade flavor is a little lax. I honestly get more blueberry than anything, but overall it's very satisfying. Definitely an all-day vape for me, and I'm definitely going to be saving some of this stuff for when it gets really cold out and starts snowing a whole lot here in Massachusetts. So, uh, For the flavor on this one, I'm going to give it a 4. Uh, for the vapor production, this is Max VG e-liquid, and there's no denying that fact. I get nice, thick, dense vapor clouds out of it, so I'm going to give it a 5. And for the throat hit, it's right on point when it comes to 3 milligram. However, I do get a little bit of the bite in the back of your throat from the sourness, probably from the lemonade flavor, that's my guess. Uh, so I'm going to knock a point off for that. I'll give it a 4 overall. However, this is uh, going to be on the top of my list next time it comes time to buy a nice summery vape. All right, so that does it for Electron. Let's move it on to our next flavor. All right, guys, we got our next flavor all loaded up in the tank, and that's going to be Cosmos Custard. Uh, this is one of, from their Stellar line, which from what I can understand, it's uh, a normal PG-VG ratio is around 65-35 high VG. So it's a little bit lighter on the VG content, so this is definitely going to be for all of you guys that are still using mouth-to-lung rigs and especially uh, devices that can't handle the Max VG e-liquid. Uh, so again, I have this in 3 milligram. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are available year-round. I haven't really checked on their website too much, uh, but uh, this one is described as Chef Carl's Original Custard co uh, Concoction. So uh, I'm guessing it's kind of a vanilla custard. That's kind of what I've been getting out of it as I've been priming up this coil. Uh, so let's go ahead and have our first vape and I'll let you know what I get. 
So just as I expected, uh, it is kind of a vanilla custard, kind of plain Jane. Everyone's got a vanilla custard, but uh, this one's kind of interesting. It's a little bit sweet, you know, it's got that nice eggy kind of tone to it, but there's really nothing special about this one. Um, I'm not too huge on custards, and I've never been a big custard fan. However, if something comes along that just blows my mind, I'll definitely vape it, and it could be an all-day vape. However, I gotta say that this one is not an all-day vape for me personally. Uh, it's a little bit rich for my taste. Uh, it's a little sweet, a little rich, and it just, I don't know, I, I tend to like the fruitier stuff. So, if you do like a nice, eggy, warm, kind of vanilla custard, then this one's gonna be for you. However, for me personally, uh, it's not really for me. So let's go ahead and have another taste real quick and we'll get to my ratings. So for the flavor on this one, I'm gonna give it a three. It's pretty much average, plain Jane, nothing too special about it. Um, I've had better vanilla custards, however, this one definitely got it right on the money as far as the flavor uh, versus the flavor profile that they uh, describe. I mean, it's pretty good, it's average. Um, for the vapor production, I'm gonna give it a three. Uh, kind of plain, you know, not crazy clouds or anything like that. It's 65.35, so, I mean, it's okay, but not the best clouds out of this one. And for the throat hit, since it is a little bit higher in PG, I do get a little bit more throat hit, but nothing that's too noticeable, especially from someone like me that vapes a lot of the maximum VG or high VG e-liquids, even higher than 65.35. So for the throat hit, I'll give it a four and a half. Pretty, pretty spot on in my book. So that does it for Cosmos Custard. Let's move on to our next flavor. All right, guys, so we're ready to go for our next flavor, which is going to be Comet. Now, this one is another one of their max velocity, uh, maximum velocity e-liquids. So it's max VG, three milligram. And the flavor description is the crunchy, floaty, breakfast favorite, milk and borealis berries included. So I'm imagining this is supposed to taste like crunch berry cereal. Um, that I believe this actually used to be called Cat and Comet, in fact. So they must have changed the name recently. But anyways, let's get to the flavor. So let's go ahead and have our first vape. So as some of you know, I'm not the biggest cereal flavor fan, but I think this one really hits the nail right on the head. I do get kind of that cereal-y kind of uh, grain kind of flavor to it, as well as a really nice sweet berry mix in there as well. And it's kind of artificially tasting, but I think that's what they were going for, just like the artificially flavored cereals. Um, so I really get that crunch berries flavor, and I do get that kind of uh, Captain Crunch flavor in there as well. So uh, I'd say it's kind of hard to say which I get on the inhale versus the exhale. It's kind of just a mashup of everything all at once. And there's no distinct flavor that really uh, comes out for me personally. Uh, it is Max VG and it's definitely thick. So for you tank people out there, this one might not be for you. However, if I was dripping this stuff, I think it would be really good on a dripper. So let's go ahead and have another vape real quick and I'll get to my ratings. All right, so for the flavor on this one, I'm gonna give it a four. Uh, for a cereal flavor, I think I would go for more of a Cap'n Crunch or Crunch Berries flavor more than anything else out of the cereal category. So flavor on this one is pretty spot on to what the flavor description reads. Um, I like the fact that they kind of uh, tried to keep away from you know mentioning the cereal name and all that stuff because there's so much branding, uh, so many branding issues in this industry right now. And I think Moon Mountain's trying to stay ahead of the curve and do their own thing, which is great. So, uh, nice crunch berries flavor to it. For the vapor production, I'm going to give this a five. Top notch, max, you know, max VG vapor production. Really no denying, you definitely get thick, dense vapor clouds out of it. And for the throat hit, I'm going to give it a four. Uh, call it a four and a half because it's pretty much spot on right where I like it to be. Um, no, no real complaints in that department. All right, so let's move on to our fourth flavor. All right, and we're back with our fourth flavor, which is going to be Project Gemini, another max velocity flavor. So it's max VG. Um, this one's a little bit different. Uh, I've been kind of putting this one off uh, just because it's a tobacco flavor. Uh, the flavor description reads, sweet leaf royan with gooey marshmallow, vanilla, and orange zest. So I know what you're thinking right now. Tobacco, Max VG, why would they want to do that? 
However, it's not your average tobacco flavor. Um, let's go ahead, I'll take my first vape and I'll get more into it. So basically what I was trying to say is, it's definitely not your, your uh, average kind of cigarette kind of tobacco. It's more of a cigar type of tobacco. It's nice and rich with an earthy undertone. And I do get a little bit of that orange zest and that cream and that marshmallow. Everything just kind of layers on top of each other and it makes for a really satisfying vape. I was quite shocked by this one. I've never been a fan of any sort of tobacco vape. Uh, there's a very short list of uh, tobacco flavors that I can actually vape. Uh, I wouldn't call this an all-day vape for me just because I'm still not, you know, that crazy about it. But for anyone that's looking for something way out of the box and something very different, I, ha I highly recommend this flavor and I definitely think you guys should try it. So, with that being said, let's have another vape real quick and I'll get to my ratings. Okay, so for the flavor on this one, I'm actually going to give it a three and a half. Not an all-day vape, uh, definitely an occasional vape. It's kind of, uh, you know, an interesting flavor, and every now and then I think I can see myself vaping this stuff. Uh, and for you tobacco vapors out there that want to try something different, I highly recommend trying this one. I mean, it's way out of the box. I mean, who would have thought that tobacco, marshmallow, vanilla, and orange uh, zest would, you know, ever work well together. But really, you do get nice layers of flavor. You get that earthy undertone with a sweet upper note to it. Um, the inhale is all sweet. The exhale is a little bit earthy with a nice sweeter undertone. Uh, you get kind of the tobacco and the vanilla on the exhale, which is really nice. Uh, so that being said, for the vapor production, again, it's Max VG, uh, so I'll do a 5 for that as well. And for the throat hit, I'll do a 5 as well. I mean, I think there's nothing wrong with the, this e-liquid other than the fact that I couldn't see myself vaping it all day. Alright, so let's move on to our final flavor. And last but not least, we have Star Drops. Again, a maximum velocity flavor, so this is Max VG. Uh, the flavor description is summer sweet strawberries churned in silky vanilla cream yogurt. Now, I don't quite get a yogurt flavor out of it, but I do get the strawberry, and that's really what plays the biggest part in this e-liquid. Uh, let's go ahead and have our first vape real quick, and I'll elaborate a little bit further. So to me personally, I definitely get somewhat more of a strawberry custard in a way. Uh, it definitely tastes very familiar and something along the lines of a strawberry custard, similar to a lot of other flavors that I've vaped in the past. However, the strawberry in it does taste very good. It's nice and sweet. You get that all on the inhale and you get a mix of strawberry and vanilla on the exhale. Overall, uh, this flavor is pretty good, but it seems a little bit generic. Uh, not really wowed by it too much, but I think it's definitely worth a shot if you want a good strawberry all-day vape. I can see myself vaping this one all day, so I, I would say for me personally, an all-day vape. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and have our second vape here, and we'll do my ratings. So for the flavor on this one, I'm going to give it a 4. It definitely matches the flavor description. I'm not, I don't get so much of a yogurt as I do a custard, but it is a nice strawberry and cream, something kind of milky, creamy flavor. Um, it is good, but it doesn't really, you know, wow me, so to speak. Um, overall, I'd say give it a shot, but, um, you know, for all you strawberry yogurt lovers out there, you might want to, you know, try something different. Uh, for the vapor production, 5. Again, can't complain about the vapor production with Max VG e-liquid. And for the throat hit, I'm going to give it a 4.5. Um, nothing too bad to say about this stuff. It's just kind of, you know, your average strawberry cream. But uh, I know some of you guys out there are definite strawberry fans. I know I am, so uh, that's why I kind of gave this one a little bit harsher of a rating. However, I do recommend it, and I do say give it a try. So... Uh, as far as Moon Mountain as a whole, I think they're a great company. They do great things. All their staff are really awesome. I do want to give a huge shout out to them. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to do this review for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. If you do, leave a comment. Give it a big thumbs up right down there. And don't forget to subscribe for more of my videos. And if you want to see more of me, just go check out SpinFuel.com. I'll have all my videos on there as well as Smoke and Joy and SpinFuel official videos. And as always, vape on.